Okay, so what I'm doing here is showing how I finish grind razor. For the purpose of this demonstration, I got a razor from uh, Scott. I ran it across the belt sander to make it uh, dull again. And we're going to pretend that this is the razor as it came out of the treatment. What I will be doing is I will be touching it edge down to the wheel, starting, starting the sanding process at the spine, and then rolling the razor backwards towards the edge. And every time I do this, I'll strip away a layer of steel until I get the edge to the point where it starts to foil. When I do this, the sanding belt will make a noise and the pitch of the noise will rise as, it, as the wheel moves towards the edge because the edge is much thinner. So by the sound of the belt I can hear where I'm at and I will always grind right up to the edge. As I do this the edge will start to foil and if the edge is foiled from the heel to the toe I know that when the foil is gone, there will be a perfect edge underneath. Furthermore, the benefit of doing it like this is that if the geometry is not yet entirely correct, this process will just make more foil where the geometry is sticking out. So by the end, not only will this edge be straight, the geometry will also be correct and the edge will be the, the bevel will be very thin. show you this is what the edge looks like now so in theory this is a bit smaller than the width of the edge after heat treatment got that mm -hmm. okay
as you can see at the he at the heel and the toe, I'm already starting to get a bit of foil, and in the middle I don't. That's because when I touch the razor to the belt sander to get rid of the edge, I probably hold it a bit more on the inside than on the outside, so it makes sense. So in, in order for the geometry to be correct, the heel and the toe would have to be made a bit smaller. And that's why you see that the foil develop first on the heel and the toe. So I'll just keep doing this until the foil is in the middle as well. And if if there's a very bendable piece of foil all the way around, I know that I'm done. If you now look at the edge, there's a very thin strip of foil <laughs> everywhere. And you can see if I use my finger to kind of bend it back, you'll see that the outline of the edge matches the spine. And if I hone this now on the, on the one k stone, the foil will fall off. The edge will be very, very thin and the bevel will be very, very thin as well. And from here on, first I remove the foil so that I have a visual guarantee that the edge is good. And then I start the polishing process and, and finer grid sanding and all the rest that's necessary. And as a result, when, when, I fi when I would finish this razor, honing it would be a very short job because the edge is already almost set. <coughs> Got it?